to introduce my friends and colleagues, Angela Siemens, Joy Sams, and Vernon Murgatroyd. Please give them a
Thank you so much for coming. We are so happy that you have joined us today. Yes, thank you, um, Cheryl, and for the Red Deer Library, uh, the Snow First Thursday. We're honored to be here today, and we're honored to have Vernon as our accompanist today. Thank you, Vernon. <laughs> Our next pieces are going to be Flight from Craig Carnelia and The Prayer by Sager and Foster.
running to grab her music and she will be right back. Um, like I say, we um, are so happy to be here. I did want to mention that our first two pieces were Alleluia from Mozart's um, Exultate Jubilate, arranged by Lee Bergen. And our second piece was Lauda Musse from Ant uh, Vivaldi's um, Gloria.
So I'll be um, performing a solo now by um, Henry Purcell entitled Hark the Echoing Air. <coughs>
another female composer, um, Maria Malibran, and she is actually the sister. Oh, you're right. <laughs> First home was in Bohemia, which was uh, later uh, Czechoslovakia, and later still the Czech Republic. And he was about halfway in age between Mozart and Beethoven, and his music contains uh, characteristics uh, of both of them. And it's also associated with uh, the sons of Bach. Uh, uh, J.S. Bach's uh, third son, uh, Carl Philip Emanuel Bach, uh, was a great encouragement uh, to the young Gusset. Um, C.P.E. Bach was in, in his 70s at that time. Uh, he was a very good encouragement to Gusset. Um, I always liked the, the six sonatinas of Gusset, and I, I, I played them all at a very early age, but I especially liked uh, number four.
<laughs> so our last three pieces are all a group of French songs, and we've got another um, female composer doing our, who wrote our next piece, Le Prisonnier. And in this piece, we are singing about a prisoner who is in his cell, and every day he looks out through um, the bars of his cell and sees a girl, a beautiful girl, floating by, and he looks forward to seeing her every day as much as he looks forward to his freedom. Our second piece is going to be Barcarolle, um, which I'm sure you've all heard. It's from the Tales of Hoffman by Offenbach. And this piece, according to Wikipedia, is one of the most beautiful melodies in the world, which I read it on the internet, so it must be true. <laughs> also, I tend to agree, it's lovely. And in that one, we are singing about the beauty of the night and the beauty of love. And our final piece is the flower duet from Lachme by Delis. And in this one, um, Lachme and her servant Malika are gathering flowers by the river.
Thank you. 